Hello, everybody. My name is Rafael Landa Verde, and I'm a doctoral student at The Ohio State University. I'm really excited to present today my study, The Knowledge Gap, a case study on information on climate change among beekeepers in El Salvador. I want to thank my um, uh, advisor, Dr. Mir Rodriguez, for helping me and supporting me through my whole process in this research project. Um, according to Soraya et al., a 2020, uh, climate change affects the species, but brutally altering temperature and precipitation level to which they have historically adapted. Um, honey bees are the top one in terms of vulnerability to climate change. And that's why this study is super relevant, and especially for developing countries, uh, which are the ones suffering the main impacts of climate change. Um, to protect honeybees, the ones that can lead our initiatives are farmers because they are the one, uh, uh, and especially honey beekeepers, because they are the one dealing with the honeybees uh, and understanding honeybees necessities. But according to Anwaya in 2015, farmers, mainly, mainly rural farmers or small scale farmers, have not fully understand climate change due to the lack of accurate and updated information available for them. Uh, according to, in, in El Salvador, just uh, regarding honey beekeepers, um, according to the last agricultural census uh, between 2007 and 2008, only 1,070 beekeepers were registered at the national level. Uh, but the same census reported that uh, 5,000 Seasonal jobs depends on the honeybees production. So the relevance of understanding all of this comes from uh, natural, um, environmental and economical reasons. Um, the theoretical frameworks we use for this study are the FAO uh, characteristics for farmers that are mainly low levels of education and uh, st still uh, a lot of limitations in terms of access to education. And then the theory of information gap that states that um, the, low, the higher economical levels are going to get uh, faster the information than the lower socioeconomic level uh, when the mass media uh, is diffusing information. Uh, the purpose of our study was to explore the perspectives of beekeepers on the information gap on climate change and the experience in El Salvador. And we proposed three research questions. The first one is how farmers perceive climate change. The second one is how farmers uh, perceived themselves in terms of preparedness to uh, protect honeybees. And the last one is what sources of information do farmers use to get information about climate change? Uh, eight farmers were interviewed uh, in Chalatenango, El Salvador in 2019 in December. Uh, through a uh, semi-structured interview, participants were able to express their opinions and knowledge. Um, we, as a researcher team, designing a semi-structured interview guide. Uh, the interviews were conducted in Spanish, then transcribed and translated by a non-professional translator, which is reliable if the translator is sociolinguistically competent, competent, competent sorry, <laughs> with the participants. Um, and grounded theories were used to, um, especially uh, open coding and actual coding to identify emerging teams. The results on beekeepers' perceptions and knowledge of climate change, farmers don't have a formal definition on climate change, but they understand that in the long and short term, historically, the climatic patterns has been changing. They don't know what is going on, but they understand that it's impacting the agricultural production. However, in terms of honeybees, they don't perceive climate change of these changes in, in the weather as, a, um, as, a, as one element affecting honeybees' production. Uh, they have other three elements that are the main reasons why they feel like the honey bees colonies are, re are decreasing and are agricultural chemicals, a grain and burning, especially in the sugarcane harvesting, and some cell phone antennas. They perceive that the antennas are, pr are producing radiation capable of killing the bees. Uh, in terms of the honey bees and the beekeepers' preparedness, uh, beekeepers, they are making different um, or developing local strategies to protect bees. And these include, for example, uh, wooden boxes with metal applications, substitute foods, and changing the orientation of the swarm location. Um, even though they recognize these practices are helping them, these are not for climate change. Uh, one of the farmers mentioned it, I'm doing everything that I can to protect the hives and produce honey. However, it's not enough. Um, and access and sources of information for the, our participants uh, 
Their preference is the technical assistance they receive from a copidecha, a nonprofit organization providing technical assistance to them. And they prefer um, the interaction with one person as the main format to get this information. One of the participants commented on this, and when the people from a copidecha come to help me, they really help me to understand why a specific things are affecting my bee colonies. And they um, have, have taught me how to take care of my girls, the bees. Um, according to the beekeepers, the information on climate change ha has been very scary in writing using a very complex language. And in general, that's uh, the same for other agricultural sectors. The, the information about climate change is still uh, in a very scientific uh, language. The conclusions and recommendations for this study, um, this is an example of the, uh, a knowledge gap and it's pretty common for developing countries and specifically for agricultural sectors. Uh, this case study provides evidence that uh, honey beekeepers are experiencing and suffering that, that lack of information. Uh, we recommend that future research should enlist and evaluate the efficiency of the practices already being implemented and the potential of replication that these practices have in other localities. Uh, res the results of this study contribute to the reduction of the information gap seeking to achieve its eventual elimination to safeguard agricultural production and contribute to other problems that include food security in the world and conservation of species in global ecosystems. For stakeholders, the results of this study could be used to develop, implement, and evaluate educational initiatives to increase human capacity among beekeepers. Social, economic, and agriculturally related characteristics should be considered when planning educational initiatives on climate change. Um, these are the reference for this research study. And um, I wanna thank you all of you for stopping by my presentation. That's my email in case I don't get to answer all the questions here. Um, and I hope you are enjoying our uh, 2020 research conference. Uh, thank you.